Welcome back everyone to Clear Talk. Uh, today we're going to continue on our previous video of project management and visibility of uh, our project and the transparency of everything that's around, happening around the project. Today we're going to focus on the equipment, the material, and the change orders of the project. So here we are on the uh, on the project and we're going to go to the material tab and create change orders. Uh, we're going to do a customer change orders. Uh, the industry ha uh, has always struggled with uh, managing all the change orders, keeping track of it, you know, what changes are happening, when they're happening, who's making them, the reasons for it. And Q360 really does help and make that process much, much easier uh, to track all of that in chronological um, fashion. So what we're going to do is on this material tab, we, we can see we have a bunch of equipment. We have a bunch of uh, uh, equipment that is already shipped to the customer. We can see all the equipment that is um, I'm budgeted for the project, but nothing has happened to it. It hasn't been purchased. It hasn't been shipped. Now, the process I'm going to show you uh, works for both equipment that has already been shipped and needs to be returned for uh, some sort of a change order, or if it, uh, if it hasn't been shipped. So the process is the same. So we can take some of these smart boards. So I'm, I'm selecting these smart boards uh, here, and we can go ahead and click on the extended menu click on the option that says create customer change order or CCO for short. What this allows us to do is uh, open up a, a negative quote. So we have this quote that is created, uh, which brings over all our uh, smart board uh, equipment onto our proposal or the quote. And we can go ahead and add any replacement item. So I can easily come down here uh, find uh, LCDs or replaceable LCDs or any other type of equipment that we want to uh, search uh, within our uh, inventory list or our price price book. So let's just go ahead and add some uh, random items here. Maybe they want to change it to a different type of equipment here. And they want two of those, for example. <clears throat> So as we go through and approve all of our change orders through, uh, through the approval pro process, we'll be able to see all our change orders that are taking place here. So when we come back to our orders, our invoice tab of the project, we can see our initial sale, any additional change orders that has taken place. If you had done any internal change orders, uh, if you were replacing parts, uh, or substituting parts, uh, changing the cable types, are simply adding more hours uh, or additional uh, supplies that was uh, missed in the engineering of the project, we'd be able to see all ICOs and CCOs uh, in this grid. Let's take another, uh, another project as an example, which will give us a much better perspective of how this would look as a project progresses through its uh, life cycle. So we can see all our initial sale, all the internal change orders, customer change orders that take place through the life of the project. Again, giving us a full visibility of what's happening on the project, what changes are happening um, from a financial uh, standpoint of the project. Thanks for watching uh, Clear Talk. Uh, thanks for watching our videos. Um, you can subscribe to our newsletters on our website. Uh, visit us on our website. Send us some uh, questions if you have or if you want to see more of uh, Q360. Uh, you can reach us through solutions360.com. Thank you.